Hello and welcome back to West of Loathing. I am Junior, and this drunk guy is gonna say something. So I didn't really get a decision made on if I'm taking Gary or the doctor, whose name I forgot, Alice, I think. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip a coin for it, and if it's heads, it'll be Doc. If it's tails, it'll be Gary. Well, I didn't see where that landed. Um, there it is. Landed in my crotch. And it's tails. And to prove it, it is... Whatever state quarter has the buffalo on the bock. On the bock? Kansas, 2005. Okay. Well, Kansas, you've told me that I'm going to start slapping my, my shin and my face, and also to take Gary, so... Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you ready to leave? Yes, I am. It was Doc Alice. Well, oh, I could go it alone. But I'm not going to. And the coin flip has decided the Kansas Buffalo has told me to take Gary the Goblin. You head back to the saloon's basement and smuggle Gary under your coat. Let's go. You consult the southeast-west map the whole uh, hostler gave you. It only lists two things, the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. I guess I'm going to Dirtwater. That seems like a name I know of. Oh yeah, that's right, I took the creepy horse. Hey, friendo. Friendo! Friendo! Wait. No, talk to me. Give me a ride. Oh, how about you? Do you have anything to say? What are you people running from? Oh, nice, nice hat. All right, Gary wants my attention. It's your partner. Talk. Hello, Gary. Wanting more goblins meeting. Gary is hearing about goblins in old fort nearby. You discovered a new location, Fort Cowardice. Hmm, okay. Well, Gary, what do you think we should do next? West is for going fast. Okay, a big iron snake to riding, so fast taking us. A big iron... You mean the train? Yes, asking the trainings mans. Okie dokie. Uh, I guess I'm going to... Jewel Saloon. Oh look, a spittoon. This is a sp spittoon. It's just sort of a brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because... Hello, creepy music. <coughs> that's that's actually kind of nerve-wracking music. Okay, because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko. Well, tell me, can I inspect this spittoon, Mr. Narrator? Look. The Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Let's take a look. <sighs> Here we go again. Alright, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket. It has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad. Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. That piano needs to be looked at. So I guess I'm going to look into the molasses toxin sludge. 
You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them, and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Glorp. I'm not gonna try and recreate that sound. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. Smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, then set out on fire. Feels like your hand is dissolving. Well, now I've got nothing to lose, so let's keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. I got a filthy porcelain cow. Hooray! Yes! What's the cow do? All right, I got new map location. Oh my. That's a big map. Okay, so what's, what's... I'm already using it. It gives me three melee attack damage and three spell damage. Well, I don't really have to do any spells, so goody. The old man stares off in the distance listening to the piano. Let's try and talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. Piano player is not very good at his job? Fabulous. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. I'll take the black one. That, that's that got to be nicer. Ooh, should I get a bowl of slop? Uh, a man points to the sign on the counter. Slop, five me. Let's not buy some slop yet. Darts. See bartender for darts. Why is everyone drawing their guns? Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Don't know. But I'm curious. The, the poker room? Let's get some darts first. Barkeep! Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Jesse. Glad to know you, Jesse. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Say, uh, can I get some darts? Hmm? The sign on the dartboard said to see you for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broken a month ago. Well, that's disappointing. How about the sign out front advertising a room? That's right. Finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella. He paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. It seemed like a decent sort, so the room's war. The room's yours if you want it. Gratis? 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 Eh, word? Wow, great! Lady! Ah, uh, she's not in the mood to talk. Gary! Wait. Okay. Um. What's with these two? Must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Lovely. Gary! What do you think of the Jewel sal Saloon, Gary? Nice place, many people! Gary betting the basement is much nicer than in Boring Springs. Mm, yeah, they probably don't want people going to their basement. Ah, Sorry, buddy. <coughs> oh, oh, hey, Lloyd. Um, need any help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical-type stuff, there's some... Something's gone wrong with our piano player. Our, our player piano player. What? I thought the music sounded a bit off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks! I'd have poked around in him myself, but I lost the key. That's suddenly taken a strange turn. So you're telling me this man is... strange. Try to fix him. You lift the piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Well, I ain't got no damn needles, so let's go into the poker room. Rules of poker, followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Let's read one of them. Deuces are wild unless accompanied by a queen of spades. Again, everyone's drawing their guns. Uh, twos are wild and trays of diamonds are double wild. That doesn't help. Jacks are wild unless accompanied by two cross-eyed queens of spades. Three threes must 
be replaced with two one-armed queens of diamonds, but can't be in the same hand as three sevens of hearts? Okay! <laughs> Empty seat at this table. Let's play poker. You sit down at the poker table. Dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sit down next to you. Lady to right and introduces herself as Marge, and the player to the left says his name is Vernon. Dealer tells you that the ante is 20 meat. Let's ante up. Okay. The dealer gives the deck a shuffle and then deals. A handy card. A hand of cards glides across the table at to you. It's a really terrible hand. A pair of trays. It's the first round, the pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning is around 20%. Well, let's uh, forcefully strategize. You grunt and strain and tear one of your cards in half. Now you have two of that card. Move on. I don't think that's, um, that's exactly how this works. It's the second round of betting. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning are around 40%. I'll grit my teeth and strategize. You arrange your cards into more aesthetically pleasing chance. Plus 20% win chance. Move on. It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate chance of winning around 60%. Let's force, forcefully raise, because I can't, I can't use any gumption. I don't have high enough gumption. Not 100% sure what gumption is, so we'll find out later. You slam 20 meat down hard enough to make the table shake. Reveal! Uh, you grin and reveal your hand. A U and Utah straight. Oh, oh, that's a painful thing to say for some reason. Marge silly flips her cards, reveal a straight. Vernon sighs and reveals his hand. Straight. I win! And gather my all. I'll walk away now. I, I feel like I should get more gumption before I continue. All right, let's see if I can't find a hay, uh, hay bale nearby. Water is for horses only. Lady! Lady! How can you be so angry with a fine hat like that? Uh, how about the mercantile? Well, hello there. I didn't get a chance to say everything I wanted to say, but what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Indiana blood sausages, tooth powder? No, no, no. Bag of shroom grow? Advanced cow punching. I'll buy one of them. And. And sell some stuff. Well, somewhere around here, I have something just to sell, right? Like that. Because I kind of want to get the bag of shroom grow. Because Gary would want this. I don't need the fungicide. I'm not really using the... Oh, I should keep it, though. I'm not using the grandma's brass knuckles. I've got an advanced... Oh, wait, no. That's the one I just bought. Duh. All right, well, let's read it. There's a really interesting article about punching people so hard that they stop moving. It gives Haymaker. A combat skill that deals damage and briefly stuns an enemy. Chapter about adapting the stampeding behaviors of demonic cattle for human use. Bull stomp. Deal does small amount of damage to all of your enemies. Essay on how to do a particular kind of sit-up that your abs really thick. Brawny. Ah! I think I'll take the haymaker. You read the advanced punching techniques and practice for a while by punching a cactus. Unfortunately, by the time you're done practicing, you've splatted the book with cactus juice, ruining it. Aww. Aww. I could have drank the cactus juice or something like that. Just sell it. So I'll, I'll probably sell the meat nuggets and maybe not the gold tooth. I don't know. I, I guess I'll just kind of work up my way to get the shroom grow later. Uh, the post office. Or it's the dirt water post of ice. Selling flowers. Oh, how could I resist? 
I got some sweet smelling flowers. Goes in my offhand. Stench resistance. Reduces the amount of damage to take from smelly sources. Great! I guess. One of those newfangled telegraph machines. Uh, you young kids and your new technology. Hi, I'm Jesse Wales. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Thanks anyway. Can I send a telegraph? I want to send a telegraph. Let's go to the jail. Collect cures her throat. Howdy. Are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. I'll be the sheriff. Um, do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirt Lot of... Dirt Waters Local Government. Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? I... no. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff? Well, I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day? Well, when you put it that way... She snorts. If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever stamp on iron, strap on iron, I'm so frustrated I don't even know how to say what I have a script to say. I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. How many protagonists have been through here? Need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure! If you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells over yonder. Actually, I didn't even read the pointing thing. I just guessed. Alright. It's a wanted poster. Er, a wanted poster. If accuracy is important. It says wanted. The house in the desert gang. For mortgage, non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murder and two collection agents. Last seen at the house in the desert. Hmm. Wonder if the house is named after them or if they named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Yeah, let's do it. Now I know where the house in the desert is. It's a wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Poster reads, Wasted. The Stripey Hat Gang. For grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. 1,000 meat reward. Interesting! Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low, no, uh, low down, no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Wanna go after them? Yeah. Got it. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, three, four... Empty cell is all ghostly. So maybe... Four sets of bandits and one that I have to kill? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. How far this way can I go? How many goddamn lots are there that are available? Not a lot available past this point. Ha! 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 Let's go to... Desert house first. I got some cheap tequila. You are afraid for a second that your booze sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense. I got booze sense. Okay. Uh, presence of a rock. Confused, move the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze behind it. Uh, increase my mysticality for by three for the rest of the day. How long is a day in this game? As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside and say, What was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, Sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks! Oh, yes. Look, there's a dog. Sound of it, you say this doghouse contains an angry, angry dogs. Alright. Yes, this doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. 
You're not gonna be able to get past this without alerting the gang inside the house. Okay, I'll back off for now. Gary, have anything to say? What's new in my inventory as well? Cheap tequila, right. Tequila's good. I like tequila, but I love rum. Oh, being careful. Quiet house, angry dog. Gary hoping you are sneaking. Horsey! Whose generic name I forget? Dolly. Let's go! Let's go to the Cavern Canyon. Find these hat vandals. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow's skull in the middle of the distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Let's approach it. Whoa, these jerks are quick. How dare you hit Gary? That just makes me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'm going to hit you for all you've got. Or maybe some of what you got. Gary will Gary through the target. Or spawn a goblin grunt to assist. Pop, Gary, pop! Fantastic. All right, now let's take... I guess I, re I could have done the, the Gary Foo. I got 10 XP, cow fangs, and brass bull ring. Nice. I don't know how any of this helps. Danger, spider. What? 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 You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Plus five to max HP. Fantastic. Cave door has been boarded up. Let's pry off. Pry off the boards with my crowbar. Those boards can't hide from your prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Fantastic. I can forge this. Coffee cactus. Oh, coffee sounds so good right now. Especially, wait, what happens now that I, just, ow, crap, okay. Especially a, a coffee porter I fell in love with called Java Lava. This door has been, has like 15 deadbolts on it. A note tacked to it says, please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly expect to take it seriously. I did see a sec- uh, actually, two openings, so let's go in the danger spider hole. Booze, medicine, and weapons. Bones make you pretty reluctant to investigate the hole. So let's see. There's a weapons crate. A booze crate and a medicine- let's go for the weapons crate! Open it. It's mostly full of packing straw, but you find a pretty fancy knife at the bottom. Sudden chittering coming from that big hole behind you. Oh, lovely. Let's approach it now. You must have a death wish standing this close to that thing. What happens if I try and take the booze now? You should leave, right now, before that spider eats you. All right, say no more. All right, well, I, I don't want to open the, oh. You can see the gang on the other side of that pile of junk. You're not going to be able to get them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs, you'd be able to pick your way through it. This is not where the hat gang was, was it? They're sitting out at the other place. So what happens if I approach too closely? Okay, you're really pushing your luck here. If you get any closer, they're definitely going to attack. So do I have the option of taking them in? It'd probably be better than uh, killing them. Maybe that's what the spider door is for. Open. Tunnel behind this opening goes straight up, and then there's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. Okay. Yeah, I'll just cartwheel out right here. No way you're going back in there. Uh, 
what? Oh, okay. You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams, and more, no more skittering in silence. I'm going in. Oh, look! Alright, the gang has been prepped for spider consumption. <laughs> I'll arrest them! Alright, cocoons, you're under arrest. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one, which Gary offers to drag, and head back to Dirtwater Jail. Turn him in. Oh, that was the Stripey Hat Gang. Okay. Uh, is that the Stripey Hat Gang? What happened to him? They had a run-in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanations. Groovy! Groovy. All right. The Stripey Hat Gang cell. Oh, oh, I saw a new wanted poster. Another wanted poster. The uh, Potterman Gang for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations. Last seen in an unregistered settlement north of Dirtwater. Hmm. Poster shows the location and a suspicious city these guys are hiding out in. Wanna go check it out? Hell yeah. Uh... Potman... Pot... Potemkins? The... That gang. Their hideout. I know where they are. But I wasn't done... I wasn't done at Cavern Canyon. Judge... They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but when you see someone wearing dark cultist robes, it seems like a pretty safe bet that there's some sort of cultist. Another clue is the fact that he or she is trying to teach a skeleton how to tap dance. At least, it's what it looks like from here. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Don't hit Gary! Plus three to all stats for that guy? Well, I'ma get beefy. And then I'ma take him. And then Gary Fu, this guy. That didn't help. Ouch. Spooky damage. Alright, Gary is going to give me a grunt. And then I'll attack with everyone I've got. Thanks, grunt. So much help you were. Gary did better than the grunt, which should be expected. I got introductory, introductory next max and a skeleton bone. Nice. Yes, I wasn't done in here. Because there is another danger kitchen. The danger kitchen. This guy's cooking up trouble, I can tell. This poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours, shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. Jesse, how you doing, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks, cooking for those stripey-hatted idiots. Man, that sounds awful. You want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. And you've got a four-foot chain. I'm fucking great at this game. <laughs> uh, how is that the worst part? This chain is only four feet long. Somehow you knew it already. Ah, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school, with a million meat idea in my head. Now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. So, uh, what's your million meat idea? You, uh, Promise not to steal my idea, right? Oh yeah, promise. Okay then, it's a new kind of sandwich. Or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole food, canned food taxonomy, to be honest. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's a sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of a pig. Ground up so finely you can't identify them anymore. Is he talking hot dogs? Okay. And it's served in a long split roll, which soaks up the grease, so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. It's hot dogs. Uh, the best part is the name. You ready to hear the name? Hot dog. 
I call it the Hot Dug. Yeah, naming it after myself. What do you think? It sounds great. He beams. Thanks. He sighs. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around this empty cave and making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. You need to know or enjoy the thing you're creating. I mean, it helps. But if you yourself don't like it, why would anyone else? Set up shop in Dirtwater. Brilliant. You're a genius, Jesse. Hot dogs for sale all day, every day. I'll make a mint. Say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage mixture? You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about the new sausage recipes. That's that, then. Nothing on the shelf looks good. The shelf is empty. I do like the shadow animation. It's very, very, very nice. A danger bar. Dirt water? I don't have any dirt water mugs, do I? No. Okay. Looks like this place needs a new bartender. What's this? He had a jaw harp in his pocket. Maybe you killed him for playing the jaw harp too much? Oh, maybe they did. I got a jaw harp. I got one sitting around here somewhere. I actually know how to play it. Kind of. Little twanger. You can pluck it if you like. I'll pluck it. You stick the twanger in your mouth and pluck it as best as you can. Yep, that's a jaw harp. Pluck it some more. You plunk your twanger some more. Pluck it. You plunk your twanger joyfully. There's a joke in the middle of this somehow. Plunk it more. You plunk your twanger to beat the band. You plunk your twanger all the live long day. You plunk your twanger with vigor. You plunk your twanger joyfully. You keep on plunking your twanger. You plunk your twanger to beat the band. You love plunking this twanger. You, you plunk it joyfully. You'll be plunking this twanger until the day you die. You plunk it some more to beat the band. You cannot stop plunking it. You love plunking this twanger. You plunk it all the live long day and some more. I'm gonna keep going. Oh yeah. Double wanting it. I don't think I'm getting anywhere with this shit. Well, now I've got a jaw heart. And if I want to, I can play it some more, but I don't think I'm going to do that. In fact, nope, not that. Actually, let's read the next max. Gives you the grin and skull skill. Uh, sure. Seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? Yeah! Okay, it's your funeral. Whatever, Grandma! You cannot see the words on the page, but you can nevertheless read them. Your mind has become stained with grim secrets. You got a skill, Grin and Skull. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. Spooky! Great! Now I have a skill of Grin and Skull. Where do I find that? I don't know. There it is. Uh, base damage, 10 spooky. Fantastic. Should I bring up... No, I should... I'll bring up my... Spleen capacity? How many potions you can use in a day? Again, how long is a day? Bring the muscle up. And then... Grit, gumption, and glamour. And then muscle. I'm a meathead. Which one brings up my uh, actual HP? Uh, 
grit brings up my HP, so I should bring grit plus two stomach capacity. Okay. Pain tolerance. Thinking I should bring grit up a lot. Gumption gives me maximum AP. Ooh. And glamour! Oh, the meat gains from glamour. I'm beautiful, damn it. Alright, let's go to Fort Cowardice real quick. Find a wreck bank stagecoat with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. I'll leave it be. Because I ain't got no lockpicks. Let's get some cactus beer. Hell yeah. Alright, Gary. Tell me. Mmm. This fort. Very quiet, Pete. I thought goblins here. That was sound abandoned. Might as well have a look, though. Just the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make a cannon aid. It's like a blockade of cannons? Probably. Anything good up here? You climb up the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view. Administrator, are you here? Cabinet's mostly empty, but there are a handful of boring personnel records in the back of one drawer. Examine them. They're incredibly boring. I know. I really want the details. Fine, you read one. Maj Ezra Wolf II, 66 Bean Slinger Drive, Division. Division. Pay grade 06. Born 1-14-52. Deceased? Yep, deceased. 7770. Blood type B positive. Satisfied? No. Another. Wounded in action. Another! I'm just trying to see if there's anything occurred six days, 63, satisfied? No! I, I just want to see if there's anything good. Ooh, this person's still alive. That's actually interesting. Walter Reed. Gotta listen. Watch out for him. Dead. Charles Stern. Alive. Becky Smith. Dead. Now you're just looking at the same ones you read before. What's wrong with you? Fair enough. I ask myself that often. In general, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's a locked door to the general's office. I should see if I can find a way to lockpick eventually. Looks like there's still some good mess left. Take it. Military grade whiskey. Hard tack. Hard tack. Okay. Blech. Uh, stove is beyond cleaning. Spice rack, open it. Just a bunch of unlabeled green shakers. Better leave them alone. They might be poison instead of spices for all you know. In a spice rack? No. What's in here? You sound hear the sounds of several goblins snoring inside this tent. Not bothering. Letting them sleep. Oh, that's Gary. Not bothering. Letting them sleep. Oh, okay then. Ooh, first aid. No one's in here. Cot is soaked with blood. Great. Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across its surface, your guess in this desk belonged to the Fort Cowardice's nurse. Let's look at the papers. I got marching orders. A set of army marching orders from before all the armies marched orders and marched back east just as fast as you live. Lily-livered little yellow-bellied feet can go, you damnable cowards. Okay. Uh, medical records, dental daguerreotypes. Lamentations that antibiotics haven't been discovered yet, that kind of thing. What's the diagram say? A bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Oh, great! Just what I wanted to stare at. Shelf still has some unlooted medical supplies on them. I am here to render them looted! Pressing E, not one. Army field trauma kit. And military grade whiskey. And I don't have safe crack. Sign says toilet in Goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way you're gonna go in there. I mean, I've already dug through a couple of spittoons, so... Yeah, this mess half definitely got somebody fired. Ah, 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 ah. It's a visual pun. And an unusually sized cannonball. 
I'll just, I'll just put that right in my pocket here. I got the Demi Culverin Cannonball. What does that mean? If only I knew. Well, I guess we're done here. Uh, yep. I'll just keep my, making my way north, and when I'm done in this area, I'll go back down to... Hmm. Unmistakable silhouette of an old mission on the horizon. Ah, let's go there! Oh, that's farther north than I expected. Oh, well. Oh! Gary has something. Hi there, Gary. Oh, oh! Gary knowing a thing to see! Yeah, what is it? A gigantic poop! What? Taller than Gary! It's a big apple. Okay. Uh, west to going fast. A tuna cactus. Ugh. Uh, tuna. Hello, nun. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down there, lady. Okay. What happened? Our holy relics! The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them! Wow! I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? To start with, take a deep breath. Breathe. And try to calm down, okay? What's your name? Uh, I'm Sister Mary. My name's Jesse. Now, what's this about saints? Our missions... Uh, our mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait. Do they call you Memento Ma? She shows you the ruler she keeps tucked in her sleeve. No, they do not. Okay, sorry. So, so sorry. So what happened? The saints. Oh, it's horrible. They just, they came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say, but... I, I nearly fainted. And they took back the relics? Yes! And if they aren't recovered before the Cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh-oh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue. So it's probably not at all that urgent. But still! All right, I'll get them back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get those relics back? Because it's probably blasphemous, too. Uh, I mean, probably. But... If black magic brought them back to life, then it's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear. The Cardinal's going to want to have a very long talk about this. But go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. Alright. Where am I going? Over here. Good luck down there. There's a coffin. Uh, looks like it was hauled down here recently. It's empty. Curious. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a problem at all. It's a precariously balanced pyramid of skulls. They're all riled up and twitching. Kick it! Are you sure? That's a lot of them. They're really mad. Maybe angering all of them at once isn't a good idea. Kick them! Whoa. These jerks are quick. Got your ass kicked all the way up the stairs. Now I'm angry. Dang. You're madder than a hornet. If your angle ever gets yeah, if your anger level gets higher than two, you'll pass out from rage. I got three muscle, three mystically, and three moxie. Alright, let's try this again. Without kicking them up. Skull has a gold tooth. Take it. Now I've got two old teeth. Skull is twitching in an unnerving fashion. Well, I guess there's no way it could be twitching that wouldn't be unnerving. Let's try it. I need more AP. So I'll get beefy. And attack. And Gary will spawn a grunt. And then I'll attack. And then the grunt will attack. And the grunt will miss. And then Gary will attack. 
All right, and then I'll attack again. And there we go. Really cracked some skulls there. Well, one skull. You claim it was the only possession as a reward. It's gold tooth. Hooray. The skull is sitting at a weird angle. I guess that's notable for some reason. It's under it. A souvenir spoon. All right. All right. I've got a, s a spoon. Whispering at you. Doesn't seem right. Listen closely. Skull is whispering at you. That doesn't seem right. It sounds like gibberish, though really creepy gibberish. It's an empty alcove. A pile of skulls been cemented together for some reason. I'll leave it alone, I guess. Uh, the bones are jiggling and rattling in agitated way. Alrighty then, let's fight him. Why? Ouch. Fine. I'll get beefy. And I'll take you out. Maybe. Gary, we'll need a, a, a grunt for this. A grunt to take one hit for us. Keeps Gary alive for this. That didn't help. Now Gary's down. Does that mean I've lost Gary? I guess I'll find out. You won. That's what you get, you dumb old skeleton. Now I got your bone. This way to Pasilo de Santo. No, nope, I didn't mean that. I wanted to look at this. Pile of skulls is strictly decorative. Great. So what we got here? It's black. Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven. But it was too heavy, it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to in enter him into a big stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Something like that. I like the uh, almost pentagram on the floor. Alright, Saint Beefus. Really knew how to build heavy stone sarcophaguses back in the day. Well, muscle late and crowbar, let's open it. You grunt and strain and force heavy stone sarcophagus lids open. But the skeleton inside. Holy crap. His bones are huge. Fortunately, he's a he appears to be asleep. Let's wake him up and fight him. Oh, holy shit. I get one shot at this, probably. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm probably fucked. I should probably, I'll, I'll just... I'll probably surrender at this point. Yeah. It's pointless. Let's just, let's just give up. Wave the white flag! I'm angry again. Alright, I can't lose anymore, so I'll just I'll just go ahead and leave this area and visit the giant pile of shit. Investigate the smoke of a nearby campfire, you'd find a bandit snoozing cozily beneath a large old colorful quilt. Which seems like a strange choice for camping gear, right? Then he wakes up and jumps to his feet, revealing that the large and colorful quilt is actually a large and colorfully quilted pair of pants. Stark contrast to his his whimsical pants, he is undeniably hostile. Is he a fucking clown or something? <laughs> no. He's just fucking weird. So let's do this. Yeah. Give us a grunt, Gary. It'll, it'll provide us with one extra turn to do shit, I guess. I need that, that shroom grunt. All right, I got thick quilted pants. Motley and fluffy, two words you don't normally associate with pants. Gives me plus two armor. And I got a black hat. Don't be afraid of this hat, it's not inherently bad. It's just a common style choice for bad guys. I might have to wear the black hat. As you reach the center of the clearing, you're simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench. You discovered the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They, they should have sent a poet. Great. Let me just really investigate this way up close. 
doesn't smell any better up close. That's what I expected. I can clean it. Made a little dent in it. All right. Oh, oh, it's getting smaller. I guess I'm gonna clean it up. It's quite a bit smaller than it was before. Made a little dent in it. Great. Thanks, mysterious giggling. All right. Well, I, I did a thing. I did things and stuff, and bring my grit, my glamour. And my gumption. There we go. Glad I did this. Alright, well the two extra locations are gonna, gonna be for the next time. I'm gonna go get that shroom grow. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and a broken pair of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met untimely ending. Tragic. What'd you leave behind? Advanced Cow Punching, Volume 117. Nice! Oh, I had some pretty decent balance there. Alright, let's let's go get Gary some power. Bag of shroom grow. Buy it. Why why disposable binox? I mean come on. Ooh, plum pudding. Delicious. What is tooth powder? Up everything. Okay. I already have one of these. So why would I want another? Could get dynamite. I don't think so though. Let's also see what my new hat does. I never did really investigate. So my four gallon hat is plus one muscle. Which is great for a cow puncher. My black hat plus one armor. And it looks better. I think I'll do that. I'll give this to Gary. You give the bag of shroom grow to Gary. He tears it open and starts shoving brown lumps into his mouth. A deliciousness? Gary has become more powerful. Groovy! What is this, the silent age again? Souvenir spoon. Plus three moxie. I don't need that. Fancy knife. Plus three moxie. And adds damage. Versus... Verse is five to six, seven to nine, five to six, seven to nine. That's a very large knife. All right. Well, there we go. Let's see what Doug is up to. We'll talk to Doug and call it a night. This is where I sent him, right? What the hell have I done there? How is this a thing? What have I done to my hips? Oh, hot dog. Doug. Doug, we had a discussion on this. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Jesse, howdy yourself. The sign outside! Yeah, had to change the name. Tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. And what is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, single letter removed, and I'm in business. Jesse's at the menu on the wall behind him. What do you got, Doug? <clears throat> An elegant hot dog. Thick, sturdy hot dog for a thick, sturdy cowboy. There's a joke somewhere in there. And I hit Jumbo Dog. Elegant, I said. There's exactly enough sausage and exactly enough bun to qualify as a hot dog. It's perfectly efficient. Ooh, but the saucy. 
This hot dog is embezzled with a z zesty sauce. Don't get too excited, though. Zesty sauce, just regular old mustard. Ooh. Might have to buy a jumbo dog at some, some later point in time. All right, Doug. Thank you for giving me the final bit for today. And I want to thank you for giving me your time of day so I can throw it out that window over there. And if you like this video for some reason, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch the Red Eye Gaming stream archive, click over into the upper left hand area. And if you want to see the end of the weekend stream, click directly over to the left. And if you want to see the video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, click over to the right. I wonder if I should just kill the House in the Desert gang.